Hello and welcome to Upside Down. Before starting the video of how we got to this stage, I want to quickly run you over my thought process about the different areas for this arena and why I created them in the way that they look. I wanted to create an arena which is both vertically and horizontally interesting and there are many different opportunities that the player can take and also different positions that you can stand and take advantage of. This will allow me to create a gameplay which is suitable for different types of weapons and different types of game style. So first I'm going to hide everything which is in the rock layer and show you how the overall arena looks like and what are my thoughts behind it. And after that I'm going to enable it and show you what parts exactly it's hiding and what opportunities it's giving for the players. You can see that I have two parts of the arena which are exactly the same. They are mirrored copies and they are with the spawning points. Remember that the arena is a deathmatch arena. So I want to make it interesting to play for 6 to 10 players. On those two places there are spawning points and also there is a nice opportunity for the player to see down a little bit on the big part of the arena and shoot at someone. The thing is that this position gives you nice advantage and also gives you nice cover, especially if I show you how it looks with the rocks, but also it makes you vulnerable because you need to look after your back as somebody could spawn on one of the spawning points. Next section is the big hole for the arena. This is where most of the main action is gonna be happening. Here I want to make it a high risk, high reward, so there are few opportunities that players can take. One is that there is going to be an ammo reload down here. Also there will be some weapon or ammo reload over here. And as well from this position you're gonna be able to go either on the upper floors or on down floors or take some of the two sides. It gives you a lot of opportunity for going to different places and finding the one that suits your playstyle most, but also it's the most exposed area in the whole arena. I'll enable again the rocks to show you how exactly it's being blocked after we have our rocks which are covering the walls. So you can see that also this one has a second level, which I wanted to make it uh, interesting for players that are uh, playing with snipers. So here I wanted them to have the opportunity to take down players which are on the lower levels but also I didn't want it to make it too easy. So players that are staying in here, they can either come close to the wall and take a cover so that they are not gonna be shot from downstairs. But players from downstairs also can use these three bells which are in the center of the scene to move around so that they can take a hiding place from the snipers above. There are two staircases that can help you go to the terrace above. One is the spiral one, which is going to be a lot more open than the second version. So this one, I'll cover it a little bit with rocks, but overall it's going to be kinda open and you're gonna be able again to see most of the open space of the arena. So you can come in here, there is the central column, which can be used for taking cover. And as well, there is going to be a nice position over here in which you can see quite a lot of the arena. After that, you're gonna be taken all the way to the top. And here I'm going to create some broken pieces that break a little bit the design overall so that once you are upstairs, there are a few covers and few places that you can use for either your advantage or hiding from other players. Diagonally on the other side of the hole, you have the second place that you can climb to the terrace. I wanted to make it a place which is an advantage for closer weapons, like for example shotguns, so the space is less open and also it's a lot more tight so that players can take advantage of those type of weapons. I'll climb on the ladder, you can see that here you are going on the first section when there is going to be again one more spawning point and as well a refill for your ammunition. And then is the second part of the ladder which goes all the way to the top. And the third and last staircase which is in the open hallway goes down. So here since I want to name the arena the water mills I want to have these two water mills, one still running, one is gonna be broken with some water down here and I think it's going to be nice visual and going to give a lot uh, life to the whole scene. And a small river which is not going to be very deep that runs down here and goes over there like a canal. So there is one more staircase which goes exactly down where this small river and uh, waterfalls are. And again, this is going to be one of the places where you are going to be able to get some weapons or some ammunition and this is one of the riskiest spots in the whole arena. So here players that are taking the opportunity to come, they really need to be careful because they are very vulnerable from all the levels, so they can be seen from here, from all the way up to the terraces 
And also there could be players which are coming down the stairs and you can see I carved a little bit the rocks over here so that it's visible both ways. And also the space is kind of tight which makes it easy for other players to throw grenades and once these grenades are being thrown it will be very hard to run away from them. Now that I quickly run across the design for the level and told you what exactly is my thoughts, it's time to start the video and see how we got to this point.